girlfriend is six years. Six, wow. She broke up with me. <laughs> Alright, don't cry. Don't cry. Please, please. Here, take some. Doc, I'm so sorry. Right. This is such an emotional topic. I'm so <laughs> Alright, well, you're here with me today because, um, your wife of two years divorced you and your mother brought you here today and suggested you to me saying that you haven't really been opening up about your feelings at all and how you feel about the separation so um, how about you this is a place of comfort you just tell me exactly how you feel about it I'm alive okay um Let's be a bit more specific. How about we do that? Um, when she broke up with you, what emotion did you feel? <laughs> you don't understand, though. I don't have enough Kleenex. Please, please stop crying. I just like to be close to her. Mm. Being close to her means everything to me, you know? Mm. By close, you mean? The toilet paper. I just, I just want, like, I wish I could just be that paper. The paper just to touch her. The paper to wipe. The paper, that paper to touch her skin. I want to feel her, you know? Do you get, Doc, Doc, do you get what I'm saying to you here? So you're single. That's that's what you're saying? That you single continue. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, um, okay. Well, he was like really crazy. Like he was possessive. Like he said the craziest thing. Like he wanted to be the toilet paper to, to, to clean my bottom. Like uh, some on. some crazy the, the toilet paper kid. Yeah, I, I don't know. That sounds oddly familiar. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Every, every Saturday morning, she has a yoga class. Mm. Now, she goes to work out, and like I stated before, I like to uh, check up on her. So, you know, I'm there, but I'm not there. We don't go together, but somehow you're there? Oh, no, no, no. See, I got a little trench coat and a little hat and glasses. So. I'm actually, you know, there's like a big window there, so, you know, I throw that on just, you know, just to be safe. Okay, I was at yoga class, right? Uh -huh. And there he was in the window with a trench coat on and some sunglasses, thinking like I wouldn't notice that it was him. And he's like spying on me. Wow. British men. And he was British. Yeah. He's light skinned, kind of short, muscular, ridiculously pretty. Yeah, how'd you know? Uh, <laughs> your lucky guess. Are there any other scenarios that might have been a reason why she left you? Um, I recall she came home from work. Mind you, she works about three jobs. Wow. Yeah, busy lady. Um, she came home, mm -hmm. walked into the room, seeing that I was playing Call of Duty. Didn't know someone at that. Right, right. She asked me to throw up the trash. Mid-game. I said no. It was mid game though, you gotta understand that. Okay. <laughs> You're a smiley one. Um, so, your friend suggested that you come here because there seems to be signs of infidelity in your relationship. <laughs> infidelity? <Yeah. laughs> More like signs of love. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah. Well, let's go through the list. Love. Go ahead, love. They said that uh, she comes home late. 
I, I mean, yeah, like, you know, sometimes she come home, not really late, like, you know, 5 o'clock in the morning, and, you know, she has stains on her shirt, but, you know, I mean, she says she's working, so, she's at work, but I love her, because, you know, she's such, she's so hardworking, it's like 5 o'clock in the morning, and she's getting home, and I'm sleeping by myself, that is love. Your friends also said that, um, you have a neighbor. That seems uh, to be always man. over. Yeah, Billy. <laughs> you know, this is why I really, my girl, she's, she's so great. Now, listen, I don't think you understand. She's so great. I mean, she's so friendly. She, that guy's in the house like all the time. Every time I come home, late home, he's there. You know, just leaving. <laughs> he practically sleeps there. <laughs> How great is she? Like, she lets the neighbors in when I'm not home. <laughs> she's great. I love her. <laughs> wow. Yeah. You ever thought of being single? Yeah. But, so why exactly did you marry her if you uh, think this way? I can't go. So, the other day, uh, my girlfriend of six years, mm -hmm. uh, they, she has a lot of girlfriends and they, they tend to go out, a girls night out, they yes. call it. Right. Um, and it actually went to the movies and uh, you know i decided to invite myself you know i don't see nothing wrong with it wow no that's an invasion of privacy that's what that is mm. it's yeah. a girl's night out which implies that plus one okay me right all right well based on everything that you're telling me i actually have a method that can help you're going through a lot right and writing things down can actually help. Poetry is a great method. I actually know a place. The House of Poetry. Over in the town of Ramble. Community Center. They're actually themed. Love don't live here. Make sure you show up July 31st. Doc. Yes. Who are you talking to? Who are you talking to? What people are in there? Hello? Hi.